Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial, today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. As usual, first create a composition. 1920 by 1080. And it's called the main comp. Then create one more composition. It's our scene one composition. Now create again one more composition. Let's call it shot one. Select shot 1 composition and drag your image into the timeline. Resize if required. Now select image and pre-compose them. And move all attributes into the new composition, and it's called image placeholder 1. Now go to scene 1 composition, and drag image placeholder 1 comp into the timeline, and convert into 3D layer. Now select image placeholder and go to toolbar and select ellipse tool. Double click on ellipse icon, to create a perfect ellipse mask. Then open mask property, and increase mask feather around 250 pixels. Perfect. Then create a new adjustment layer. And search fast blur effects. Change blurriness around date. Perfect. Now go to project window and create a new composition. It's called photo comp. And also change the height around 1500. Then create a new composition. It's called frame. Select Frame Composition and go to Toolbar and choose Rectangle Tool. Double click on Rectangle Tool icon for create a perfect rectangle. Now again create a rectangle like this. Then select Second Shape Layer, and choose Track Matte Alpha Inverted Matte. Perfect. Now go to Photo Composition and drag image placeholder comp into the timeline, and also drag frame comp into the timeline above the image placeholder comp layer. Select image placeholder and adjust them. Now drag watercolor stain footage in between both comp layer. You can found footage link from description. Move watercolor around one second forward and increase the size of watercolor stain footage. Now select image placeholder layer, and change track matte, luma matte, so it's look like this. Now go to scene 1 composition, and drag photo comp into the timeline, and also turn on 3D icon. Then hit S for scale and change scale size around 40%. And search drop shadow effects. Change distance around 30, and softness around 300. Now we need to add our text here, so select text layer and type your text. Now select text layer and convert into 3D layer. Align your text center of the frame. Then select text layer and parent with photo comp layer. Now go to two views. And move photo comp little close to camera. Now create a new camera. Then create a null layer. Parent your camera with null layer. And convert null layer into 3D layer. Select null layer and hit A for anchor point, then hit R for rotation. 
Now go to around 1 second forward and add a keyframe on anchor point and Z rotation. Then go to first frame and move Z position of anchor point around minus 2000, so that our image goes to out of the camera. And also change the Z rotation minus 10 degrees. Then go to few frame forward and add a keyframe, now again go to few frame forward, and change Z position little closer to the camera. Then go to around 1 second forward and add a keyframe on same amount. Now again go to few frame forward and change Z position of anchor point around 2500. Now select all keyframe and easy ease them. Select the keyframe, then go to graph editor, and make your graph like this. Then select Z rotation keyframe, and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. I think our watercolor stain footage, not long enough, so open photo comp player, and select watercolor footage, right click and select enable time remapping, and stretch watercolor footage. Now we need to add expression, on photo comp player, so select photo comp and hit P for position, and add wiggle expression. Our scene 1 has complete. Now go to main comp, and drag scene 1 comp into the timeline. Then again go to project window, and duplicate the scene 1 comp. And drag into the timeline. And adjust the layer when our scene 1 comp animation has complete. Now change the image of scene 2, so open scene 2. First change the image placeholder 1. So go to project window and duplicate the image placeholder 1. Then hold out and drag image placeholder 2 over the image placeholder 1 comp layer, then change your image. Now also change this photo, so go to project window and duplicate the photo comp. Then drag the photo 2 comp over photo comp, open photo 2 comp, and replace image placeholder 1 comp with image placeholder 2 comp. Perfect, it's look good to me. We can also add light leak footage in our slide. So open scene 1, and drag light leak footage into the timeline, and change mode normal to screen, do the same with screen 2 comp. Our animation has done. Hit 0 for render. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.